we're on question two for part C, operating online. Please leave a subscribe. Please leave a like. Let's help the channel grow. Thank you. So we are back to Alima again. Let me zoom in. You guys can read it as well. So it says, Alima owns a small high street store selling clothes, shoes, and fashion accessories. Alima plans to start using online systems to assist her business. Alima creates a podcast to promote new products and provide uh, fashion news, tips, and advice. The podcast will be available to download. Explain one way that making the podcast available to download will affect her choice of file type. So here we go. She will need to choose a common or popular file type to ensure that it is compatible with as with a, as wide a range of devices as possible. So right, when we look at audio, typically MP3 is going to be the main audio file type that people use for compatibility. It's relatively small compared to everything else. And it does sound pretty good. Most of the music that we listen to when we download music or voice notes or whatever the case is, is compressed audio. MP3 is compressed. Sounds all right, uh, which will maximize her audience. Now, the reason she wants to make it as compatible as possible is so that whatever device the person is using to download and listen to it, it will work. It would make no sense for her to say, okay, only iPhones will work. Now, as much as many of you guys love iPhones, Android or Linux is the reigning operating system around the world, okay? So it needs to be compatible on as many devices as possible. So MP3 works on everything as far as audio goes. Um, and reduce the need for users to install additional software or codecs. Correct again. Because MP3 is so universal and because it's compatible with most devices, you don't have to download a special music player or a special media player with a special codec with a, or a special app to play it. Normally whatever music player comes with a smartphone nowadays smartphone smart watch smart tv laptop phone tablet whatever music player or audio player comes with that device it will play mp3s perfectly fine next we have file size should be small to help the upload and download process yes 100 percent true people typically don't have unlimited data now here in the uk we might have a lot of data for very cheap other places around the world in general, the amount of data you use per month is typically an issue. And even if it's not an issue for us here in the UK, the bigger the file is, the longer it will take to upload. When I upload these videos to YouTube from my house, it's taken me before two hours to upload a single video. When I upload this from other places, my friend's internet, which has that one gigabit ethernet upload, it takes minutes, right? So the size of the file matters to most people. She needs to choose a, a common popular file type. We've already discussed that MP3 Maxim, um, to maximize her audience. You need to maintain quality. MP3 is pretty good for quality. Now, it's not the best. So if you're working in a studio, for example, you probably wouldn't even use MP3 whatsoever. You'd probably use a WAV, W-A-V. But for a typical podcast where you're just having voices speaking back and forth, having a conversation like this here, this is fine for MP3 because the quality is typically high enough. But if you're making professional music, making movies, editing audio, MP3 might not be the best thing. But for this purpose, it 100% is. So I would recommend for this section or for these types of questions, go over file formats and why some might be better than others.